Hey guys, end up here. Today we're checking out this 10 amp MPPT solar charge controller from Battery of Power. Inside the box you get the charge controller itself, some connecting wires, and a user's guide. So let's hook this thing up and see what it can do. A couple weeks ago I hooked this charge controller up to a small solar panel because it's the only one I had available but it wasn't really putting out any kind of power. So today we're hooking it up to a solar panel I had on another project and we are going to see if we can get a little bit more power out of that. Because I don't want to cut any wires on that solar panel, I had to order some adapters. First thing I ordered is this connector here, which goes MC4 from the solar panels to the SAE adapter that this connects to. And it's going to be pretty easy to do. We just need to keep our reds and our blacks in line. And to do that, we are going to use one of these little connectors. So now we have red, red, all the way to the red that goes to the solar panel. Next, I had to take care of this side. So we ordered one of these. And this goes from the SAE to a battery terminal. And it has a 10 amp fuse right there for the battery. So we're going to grab another one of these and connect it there. And take this end and connect it there. And now we have power red going all the way through to here. And then red going all the way through to the other side to the solar panel. So now that we got all the wires hooked up, let's go take this thing back out to the tractor and see if it works. We are out here at the lawnmower right now, and this is the solar panel that I had it hooked up to. I don't know how powerful it is, but it's not. Here is the battery. You can see that we've hooked on the positive with the fuse here, negative there. And we have this connector here. The positive runs all the way down to this side here. So this positive, this is negative. On here we have positive and negative. So we're going to connect that. And our charge controller comes to life. Out here in what will one day be our radio shed, I have these solar panels here. But I can't use them because they are like 47 bolts open circuit just outside the shed i have this solar panel we have a 158 watt panel and the open circuit voltage is 22.7 so we're well within the abilities of this charge controller right here you can see that it says negative on this side this is the left side and that connector is this one on our cables here, I'm going to have to make the male end be negative, which is red, and the female end here be our positive. So, just between you and me, these colors are switched right now. We're going to connect negative and positive. And now we're going to connect these to the solar panel. We have our solar panel facing under sun. Not really in the best position, but it's there. Okay, let's go ahead and connect this panel. You can see that it automatically selected the AGM battery. We got 8.2, 8.3. Looks like 8.3 is the most we're gonna get right now. Let's burn off some of the power of this battery. Look at that, 9.3. 9.4. That's not too bad. For where the sun's at right now, that's not too bad at all. Well, that's all I have for this video. Bang around that bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos come out. Call us on the hotline if you have comments or questions and want to be featured in an upcoming video. 
Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check us out on the website, and we'll see you guys on the next one.